no. Is that a liquor? Guys, I don't know. Uh, what the heck is that? I don't trust this for a second. I don't know what that thing was, man. So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Man, we are entering now part 4 and my goodness, let me just uh, take a little walk outside guys. You see we got this nice vault door protecting us from, uh, oh yeah, a blown up train right now. Now if you guys didn't see the last episode, we finally got the train moving out of Raccoon City. Only for a little bit though, because as it turns out, the nemesis was always on our back, knowing exactly our plans. And this dude, you just cannot get rid of him man. Fortunately we managed to land pretty close to some kind of underground bunker, we found a few more supplies and now basically we've got to get back up to the ground level of Raccoon City and maybe meet with Carlos. Now first of all, uh, let me show you this move right there. That is something I'm going to be doing a lot more of alongside this one too. My dodge work for this series so far has been pretty weak. In the last episode, I really did learn the purpose of actually getting the dodge work down and so now I actually get it. Also, 20k likes for part 5. Let's do this. Well, we know the shelves down here are completely barren. There is no life down here. It's completely dilapidated and yes, I did learn that word because I pressed here and saw it there. But now we're making our way back out, guys. We tried using the radio and we couldn't get in contact with Carlos. Should I be concerned around here? Seems kind of quiet. Just a low rumble. It's a couple of dudes. My guy just fell out of existence. <laughs> now, do I want to test the mines with this thing? I can actually switch this up. Wait, hold up. I think I do that and then press down. Oh, I see you shuffling right there, my guy. Yeah, here we go. So we should have that. Okay, I think that was an explosive round. I mean, uh, it does the job and it definitely works. <laughs> Cooked all three of them up. Dang, man, I didn't even mean to do that. I would want to try out on this guy here, but it seems kind of pointless. We'll give him the jab work on this occasion, guys. Or, wait, maybe we don't got him. This area then seems like a small holdout point for maybe some survivors. We got bunkers down here. Seems like they tried to keep safe, but of course, it didn't last long enough, guys. So, my man down here is so quiet. How many more might be down here? One more here. Ooh, two more. Now, maybe we should just test out the mine just to see what it's all about. So, lay one right there. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the mines work quite well, guys. Come on, pop that little head of yours. Four shots. Is that enough, sir? No, we already know it's not, so we'll just get him done it this way here. Make sure he doesn't get back up. No, no, sit down. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm going to save the explosive rounds and also the uh, other stuff that we got for the grenade launcher until we really, really need it. I got to play this as safe as I can. Nothing more down here. Up and out. Let's get back on the street level, I assume, anyway. Please don't be sewers 2.0. We're out, guys. Still alive. I can't stay here. Oh my gosh, man. He is out there shrieking. Look at the city on the other side. Cars completely piled up. Abandoned. They had to make move on foot. Some police cars and stuff like that. I don't know if that's the RPD with the clock and whatever else. It might actually be. I guess we just simply get moving though, guys. See if we can find anything around here that might show us some more evidence of what happened on this side of things. Not exactly, but handgun ammo. Perfect. Thank you. Wait, what is this down here? There is a note. Let's take a look. The Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon, and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated, and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation effects in place. Place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. And who the heck might this be, huh? Not much to learn about that person, guys. We do have a crate in the corner over there. Let's check this one out. No! So are those puppies God! housing here? Do not use a mine round on this thing. It's a red herb. Let's take this thing. And of course we can't because inventory space again. Oh, I do see you down here though. Hey, there we go. All right, guys, got the red and green herb. Combine those two up. We are bringing those with us. Let's see, we're crossing the bridge though, back over. So we did get out. He was right behind us the whole time? Is he gonna jump in the war or something? He's in pain. <laughs> Dang, dude. Can't even swim. Wait, are we good then? Is that the end of the nemesis? Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? 
This is the conversation. Dead. Mihail, everybody. Nikolai left us um, to die. Wait, what? Wait, what? What the f Oh my gosh. It's back! What? Jill, Jill, what happened? Jill, what the heck? It completely transformed underwater into that? You've got to be kidding me. That will slow it down for a couple of seconds, Jill. That gap team is nothing for that dude. Is that still the nemesis? I can't believe it's the same character. Oh my gosh. Do we have to fight it on here, though? I think we got to get ready, guys. This is going to get very messy. Oof. Look at this thing. <laughs> Dang. What a beast right now, guys. Here we go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, dodge a bit later then. It's got some build-up time. That was uh, terrible to begin this. Here we go. I've got a shotgun. Is that going to tickle it, though? You know? Like, that's doing nothing, man. Oof. Okay, maybe I should switch out to the grenade launcher. Nope. That's the better dodge. There we go. All right. Shoot the mine at it. Direct shot, direct shot. Mine at the same time. Do it. Well, straight on the head. That was nice. Probably staggered it. I wish I had more rounds with the explosive now, you know? It's going to jump. It's going to jump or something. Here it comes, here it comes. Dodge. Woo! Whoa, what is it doing? I can 360 right there. In the back, me. I think I stuck it in the head, guys. Some more explosive rounds. We might be getting these attacks down so we should. Here you come. Woo! That was a rough dodge, but it did work. Come on, fella. Let's see what you got. Man, oh man. In the back, in the back. That hurts probably about as much as it hurt him. Lead him on, lead him on. He would have missed anyway. Hit one more time. Come on, this has got to be hurting him, right? It's got to be. Come on, man! Yes! Duck into the arm. Get him in the face, in the face. That's it with all the explosives now, dude. So we're going for the shotgun, I guess. Come on, man. He missed, he missed. Unload, unload. Let's go, let's go. Semi oil, let's go. That was decent. And at least we're dodging all the hits, right? I think he might be doing the run attack again. Here we go, be ready, be ready. Maybe? Yeah, here we go, guys. So dodge. <laughs> Your boy dodged into it. Here we go with this thing. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Wait, what is going on? Uh, mine rounds, mine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We definitely needed those. What is it doing, man? It's like running complete circles. I'm gonna fire one there, maybe. Let's see if it runs the round, perhaps. Look at this. It's doing loops. I'm gonna trap it. Let's see if this definitely works. It jumped up just before. Oh no, it didn't. Can we get it up there, though? I might try. I might try. Here we go. No, guys, it didn't hit. It did. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my goodness me! What do we do? In the exposed part there? Okay, direct shot, direct shot. That hurt a lot for the monster. Here we go. We're gonna go for the pistol, I think, guys. That's all we got. Get some shots on. That's all we can do, really. We're running very low on the ammo. Okay, let's see what he's doing again. He's climbing. When he runs out, will he hit the uh, mine that was over there? Maybe it's gone. Dang! Okay, guys, I'm gonna shoot a mine there. Let's see. Yep, he hit that thing straight away. Let's go with the shotgun, I see it. That thing. Go for it, go for it. Come on, come on. Do the damage. It's all I got, man. Keep going, keep going. Come on, it's gonna be hurting him, right? Come on! Ah, oh, It's not enough, dude. Jeez, this dude is insane. I definitely dodged that. That's put us in danger straight away. I'm playing rounds, handgun ammo. What's in here? What's in here? It's just a red arm. Okay. You can at least combine those two. Now. I need to stop it in its tracks. Yeah, we've only got flame rounds though, so I'm gonna have to try and predict where it's going, right? Hit it. Comes around here. On the wall. Nope. 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 It's very slow, guys. Very, very slow. I think I got it. Just about. Let's go flame rounds on this thing. Cook that thing up, whatever it is. Wait, is it done? It's a flaming inferno. I sure hope that's doing continual damage. I pressed the dodge. You gotta even go a little bit quicker than with this guy. He's very mad. Oh, please tell me we're getting somewhat close, guys. Ugh. So close behind us. Ooh, that was a good shot. Come on. Drill away at this thing. These things are like sponges, dude. How close could it be to, like, destroying it, man? Who knows? Who knows? Definitely seems mad. Straight back on the walls, dude. It's like we just get free shots on this guy. He doesn't do anything else. Hit another mine right there. 
Let's see. Be ready. Let's go for the shotgun this time when he lands. Okay, we're gonna get nice and close. Yeah. Ooh, how does that feel, huh? Chat's thing. It's definitely hurting him a bunch. No, you don't. How about you run around one more time, huh? Here we go. Here we go. He's gonna jump up one more time. Okay, so we'll lay the mine about there. I thought that went through that right there, dude. Let's see, that's definitely gonna hit him. Now, I'm actually gonna have to use one of these straight on it. I'm running really low on the ammo. That must have done significant damage, right? Can't go on for much longer, surely. I'm running low on so many things. Wait, I shoot right, it with the shotgun. This. Suck it! Dang! Oof. Burning him up! My gosh, if he's got another form, I might just literally sign the RIP right now, guys. Still there? I can't do this. Come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? Jeez. That was unbelievable. This door, by the way, would not open until the fight just finished there, so uh, yeah. Now that boss battle, even though I had it locked down, it made you repeat the same steps so many times, dude. For a while, I thought I was actually doing the completely wrong thing. Turns out, we was doing it right all along. It was just continual damage over and over again. Gosh. Hang on, this one just blew open too. We had more shotgun shells in there. Let's see. That's it for this area though, guys. The nemesis though, I think, might be down. Oh boy, cutscene. I don't trust this for a second. I don't know what that thing was, man. Bro, you are kidding me! What can we even do? You're scratching an itch, Jill! That's it, do it, do it! Woo! Ho, 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 ho! Clean off. How you like that? It just grows back another one. I think was that in our arm? That's probably shot some like venom in us or something. Wait, what? Interesting. You've done me a big favor, miss. It's clear this guy was just filled with bad intentions, but wow, man. I don't even know what to say about Nikolai. I'm so confused, like, is he the same person? It's so hard to know, guys. Obviously, Jill. he's like, fan for the wrong team, but past that point, we've got to figure out hey, as we go, I guess. Answer me. God damn it. Oof. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Oof. It is a good job Carlos managed to find us. Very, very You good. hang in there, Super Cop. I got you. So what next for the nemesis, right? He's obviously still alive. It seems unstoppable. <sighs> Honestly, guys, I dread to think what the next thing is going to be, but uh, it's probably going to get us killed again. Here we go. Yeah, this looks shady as freak, right? No dead. We're in a hospital. Nice. 9.20 p.m. Spencer Memorial Hospital. Okay. Fight it, Jill. Dang, she looks terrible. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. She just has to hold out now. Oof, it's gonna search be okay. for a vaccine. I promise. Let's take a quarter. What can we give her? Can we give her this? We don't want to give her this. What about this? I don't know. Red up. And she sounds so uncomfortable. Let's do this, dude. So now we're in a hospital within Raccoon City. We've got to get this done. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. All right, man. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Do our best. The sooner we get that vaccination, the better. So they did clearly try and hold this place up a little bit. Look, the windows are barricaded, so things went down. You can see here, this one, oh, it's not even broken. I would not trust that for a second, guys. Got a first aid spray and even more bullets. Um, let's check this way, guys. Red, no thank you. This has a lock on it. Look, that one's completely chained off, so this is the only way we gotta go through. It is indeed. Push these doors. Uh-oh. So, uh, yeah. This don't look good, guys. 
It's already done. Okay. Let's see, go over there. There's another couple. Oof. Let's do it, man. One headshot there. Look, he wants that vending machine good stuff. I get it, man. I'd be pretty annoyed. At least these guys are kind of far back, so we have got some time to uh, sit them down. I guess exploded. Thank goodness. There we go. They're all set down, but definitely not dead. You see that door at the back? I don't got time for this! We got no choice. We gotta make sure these guys are all gonna stay down. I don't wanna risk nothing right now. It's better to use an extra bullet just testing to make sure they're down. They're all dead, definitely. Now, this has a lock on it. We could take the lockpick from Jill, or maybe we gotta find another one. The Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to the Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, for the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research rooms, where we will conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of the medicine across the United States and the world. <sighs> Woo! Just about got that in one sentence. Now, it's telling us this is a trash item, so we may as well get rid of it. Okay, one more space in the inventory at least. I see a red up just there. Maybe we should let this guy come. Come man. on, just the one, huh? No problem, I dealt with three of your friends just a second ago. Alright, there we go. We're gonna take this in the meantime. Oh, I did not see this guy. Hold up. He was alive. Oh, he could have went for my ankle, but chose not to. Okay, that's four headshots. Still not down. Six! He at least lays down for a moment. Oh, that music. Hold on. I think he's definitely dead. He's not responding to the jabs. We gotta come back this way, and I'd rather not risk a single thing. Okay, there we go. Woof! I was concerned about her lunging. Just about got that. Dang, this hospital sounds so ghostly. It really does. With the gun pointed, dude. With the gun pointed. See that left? Nothing there. This way here. Nothing. Let's turn this corner. Let's see. There's nothing but a chest there. We can open a lot of this with the lockpick, too nice. Hang on, there's something outside. Another chest. That one doesn't look like it has a lockpick, so we're probably gonna have to head outside in a sec. Emergency vaccine research. Just the small details you gotta pay attention to, guys. Around here. Oh, these corridors are so quiet. Watch this door, man. It's open. Something could burst through at any moment. Oh. Who put you there right now? Seriously, get off that thing. Someone needs it more than you, honestly. Okay, moving on, guys. Let's go. This is the vaccine Welcome research. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Okay. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Uh, we're coming to save your back, me. Hello? And we're gonna tape player. Uh, next. Hold on there a second. Can we listen to what's on it? Examine this. No, look, there's no tape inside of that. Okay, we gotta try and find a tape then, guys. We will. Managed to locate one line around somewhere. Let's see. Clipboard. Nurses Journal of the September 25th. Every day, they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have put them in straitjackets and moved them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The, uh, the director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We have been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? I don't know, lady. We're here to try and find out. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? Wait, what? What kind of sci-fi bullshit? Is this? Yeah, right. <laughs> what? Well, that alone tells me exactly why we did get the cassette player. Quite clearly, we need to uh, find a tape. Use it to play back. Bro, what the freak is that? Uh, that sounded like some kind of mutated monster. How about we uh, take a peek, guys? It's just zombies. All right, we're gonna bring them through here, guys. It's gonna be the best way. Hello, fellas. Let's go. Huh? Wait, are they coming? Look, they just stand completely stationary. So with the doors open, we'll take our shots. I'm gonna use the pistol for these guys. Um, I don't get why they're not moving. It makes life really easy for me, so thanks, guys, I guess. Hey, he's gonna sit down and... Hey, okay, not yet. There we go. Um, don't get it, but whatever. Okay, this room is nice and quiet now. Apart from this dude right here. I kinda wanna break the glass just so I can take care of him. Ooh, I'm gonna run past, guys. Can he not break through there or something? Oh my god! What the heck? Where did she come from? Oh my gosh, was she on the stretcher? Oh my god, dude, dude, dodge, 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 dodge. Jeez, can she stop? Dang, man. Okay, that's it. Green herb, thank you. Gotta find a key card there as well. So much. Look, we can see bodies just stacking up over there, man. I'm not going near that. I don't trust it. Well, actually, uh, skip that, man. We got some ammo. Let's go. Let's open these doors. What the freak? Why is that gonna be so creepy, though? Just a teddy bear in that chair down there, man. Oh, gosh, so weird. So now we can go upstairs. 
Is there any significance behind this, though? Can't examine it. Nothing like that. Here we go. Whoa! All right. Nothing behind us. Well, we gotta take care of him, I think. Wait. Is he already dead? My bullets did nothing to him. Hold up. Okay. That guy's done. I don't know. What? He must have just fallen over the side. But look, his head. Is it completely gone? It's like been gnawed away. That was appropriately timed. Either that or something just ran from us. But what did that look? The trail. Dragged him there. Could it be more liquors? Sure hope not. I really don't want to deal with liquors in the hospital. We're on the upper floor, guys. There's our exit, apparently. It's actually the only way we can go. Look, people shove them whatever they could to block the paths, stop them from coming forward. Now, did it work? Probably only so well. My guy down there is taking a sleep, but there's no blood around him, so... Small flank route around the side, guys. Inside we go. Oof. I don't see anything immediately, at least. That's at least good. Handgun ammo, yeah. I like the handgun. It seems like it's more accurate, and you can shoot it a little bit quicker. Like, the machine gun is nice and all, but again, you miss more shots because of the recoil, and it's so... Like, you just want to hold down the trigger all the time, and that can actually be a problem. So we've got nurse's station over there, and then we've got the dispensary that way. Hang on, we've got a map in fact here. Hospital map. This tells us even more information we need. Records room to our left, staff room, sick room, nurse's station, treatment room, linen room. Let's go in the staff room first. We're probably going to find a few more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oof! Look at this mess! What an absolute disaster. We got a few bodies laying on the floor, guys. Ooh, how many are gonna get up? How many are gonna get up? How about this one here? It's got the blood covering him. Nope. And my guy over here, too. Nope. He ain't getting up, guys. Look at all these bodies, dude. Are any more of them gonna get up? It doesn't seem like it. I feel like this game, though, was introducing us a. Why? This is journal September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we tried. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota. I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. I didn't even get to finish the sentence right in the log. Another locked up door as well right there. The spot for us to use our lockpick. Memos from Adamin. Okay, ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employers must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here at the office. Please stop by admin at the end of your shift to borrow it. Okay. Yeah, we need the key for that. All right, let's uh, maybe make Make our way back down there. Let's check the records room, guys. This is our save room. Aha! I was wondering where the next one would be, you know? Getting a bit nervous around here. Another book. Nurses General, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia? Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more by the minute, we've called in our off-security staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this case. Okay, next up, the nurse's station. Gotta go over here, see if any of these two rooms will house anything. That way's blocked off. We can crawl through there. Wait, can okay. we crawl through there? Not this way. Okay, my man will not crawl through there. All right, let's go in this one first. There might be some people in here. So maybe not in here, but on the other side. Hold up a sec. We make sure they're sleeping. We gotta be really, really safe here. That was just a door behind me, okay. Come through, guys! Come through! I'm ready for you. Any minute! Hurry up! Oh, wait. Hold up. I can't interact with that door. Uh, what about this one here? I wanna, like, burst it back through. Here we go. Dang, where the freak did this one come from? Maybe they're already on the floor? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like a security guard or something. That's those two dealt with. Pick away at these guys. Just pick away. Ooh. All right, big fella. Let's get these double slashes. Here we go. Here we go. Make them count. Make them count. Sit down. Sit down. Ooh. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Maybe one more headshot will do it. Let's see. That's him dealt with. Now, how about this guy over here? Imagine, though, like, they were just trying to treat people who 
had this mysterious illness, and this is what they were becoming slowly but surely, and they just had to stand witness to it, really, guys, and watch it slowly happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Hopefully one more shot should take him down. See? No! Maybe two more. Clean your hands! Wash your hands, guys. Wash your hands. The poster there saying it. You know what you should be doing right now. Oh, there's a note down here. Note about the tape recording. Dakota, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw a bot remove something from a locket in the nurse's station and walk towards the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and I will get his day in court. Stay brave. Stay strong. What? Doctor B. Oh, you've messed up even more so now. Now we can go through those doors. Okay, let's take a peek then. Hello? Any patients around here still feeling sick? Ah, uh, this lady's got a case of the mystery illness. And a knife to the back is what she needs. Okay. And also a bit of my clavicle. Guys, you see this man here? Bruh. He thinks you're stupid, right? <laughs> No, no chance. Okay, last few spots is the linen room and then the treatment room, and that's basically the extent that we can go. Okay, we're gonna do this instead. <laughs> I mean, we did hear about the uh, thing being out here in the courtyard, and we did see that there was uh, something, I think it might be over here, in fact. Yep, here we go. Just on the floor. What is this? It's the key. Aha. Uh -huh. There was also a box out here, if I remember correct. Now, where was this? Over that side there, you see? I knew there was something more down there. Okay, well, we may as well take the green herb for the moment because we can't jump back over here, I don't think. This, though, I think is a new area of the hospital, perhaps? I don't recall this spot, at least. Well, maybe I do. Aha! This was locked from the other side. Now, that gives us a small runaround point. Did I just see something run past there? I don't know. I'm not sure if my eyes are playing tricks right then. I sure hope not, because it went this way. So this door will be locked up, right? Yeah, we can't get through there. Hmm. Assault rifle ammo. The only spot I can think to use the key is actually in the room that we cleared out with all the nurses, the dead people. Don't place a liquor here. Don't place a liquor here. You would gain nothing from it, game. Just don't place a liquor right in this small path right here. You know, the door I'm walking towards. Don't place a liquor there. Okay, thank you. All right, here's the key. Uh, it gives us access to like a small back area. It's very, very tight. Look at this, man. Oh my gosh. No one else back here, at least. So we have that. Oh boy. I don't like these ducks, man. I feel like something's gonna burst one down. Gotta check all these. Ah! Jeez! No, please don't tell me there's more. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Okay, we've got a hospital ID. We definitely need that. Inventory's full. Of course it was gonna be freaking full, dude. Okay, the key is trash now, so we'll take the ID card. We definitely need that. Can we open any more of these? Aim at everyone. Hey, look, guys, Mr. X attire. If you want to be like him, there you go. So you gotta wear. All right, guys, don't get up. Just keep sleeping. You know, do what you're doing. Don't gonna change nothing. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, yeah, let's go. Actually, no. Walk slow. Walk slow. We don't know if something's gonna bust out right now. We are progressing. No. Is that a liquor? Guys, I don't know. Uh! What the heck is that? Oh my gosh! Bro. What? Um. Yeah, so we're gonna shoot this thing. Oh no, no, no. How many shots? That's a full clip. That's a full clip right there. Dodge, dodge, dodge. That was a poor dime, time dodge, but we still managed to avoid it, I think. Back up. Get back up. No, back up, dude. Look how relentless this thing is, dude. On the face, on the face, on the face. Dodge. Yo, that works. Can we bust back out of this room? Hold up. Open the door. Open the door. Run, run, run. Move, move, move. Woof. You know what? Into the save room. Skip this. Hold up. Is my guy going to be, like, roaming around the place at all times now? Um, I really don't know. It had claws, so maybe liquors aren't in here. It's, it's in there. Right? Let me run around a bit. It didn't come back out of there. Uh... That's one. There's probably gonna be more. Yeah, well, uh, this sucks, guys. I don't think there's any more things we can immediately do upstairs. So I might take the jump down here. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, they're working the music wow with this game. Well, that explains what happened to that person there, right? I was wondering for the longest time, like, what really went down? Wait, now there's two in there. Where the frick did your buddy come from? They're gonna break through, I think, in a sec. Wait, there's three? I don't remember there being that many before. Let's use the ID card real quick. Now are they going to choose to break through? Let's see. I'm still holding out. Oh. It's like an operating room. This is where they'd have been trying to figure out what the heck was wrong with people in the first place. Just do a quick check around us. 
No one here. Okay, this is stuff. That's a lot of assault rifle ammunition. Listen, why does the game kick you out like this, dude? Why does the game kick you out like this? Is there gonna be one in here? Sure hope not. Oh gosh. Is there any signs of one being here before? Don't see any claw marks. Oh, guys, I really don't have any idea. These guys. Oh, if you can hear everything break into. This was the last spot I could think to use the ID card, so let's try this. I get a feeling there might be one crammed back here. You know? Open the door. Oh. Yeah. Suddenly it feels so wrong. How many is it? There is two of them right now. Oh boy. I don't even know what to do, guys. I might use the flash and then just grenade them straight away, see what happens. Either way, they're having a whale of a time down there, man. There's no zombies as well. Fortunately, so we don't gotta shoot beforehand. Now I get why they gave us all the supplies though, right? It's in there. Are we in there with them? Hello? I just wanna move slowly through here, guys. I wanna make sure that there's not too many zombies that we gotta deal with. I don't know how the guys will respond to noise. No idea. Good evening. Okay, hey sir. Now this part sucks because you're so confined down a close space. Sit him down. Five headshots. Six. Thank goodness he dropped. I thought it was gonna take another one. All right. All right, let's keep this moving through. Don't think there's any more. There's a couple of things. It might be just the secret thing over there. Now, this door I think goes around the room, maybe, but we probably gotta get in that one room where those two dudes are, right? Yeah, so there's a flank point this way. I say we just go ahead and deal with this, guys. Right, let's go flash grenade first. It's right there. I didn't even get a chance to prepare myself, guys. They're right at the door, man. You can hear them. Hold up, what about like, going through this? That might like, stun them for a second. Let's swap out to the grenade. This might work, guys. Back up, back up, back up. Whoa, we're trapping them in there. You see that? They won't even let me open the door. Look, they're like stopping me. Did I just cook them both? Hold up. Bro, I think I just cooked them. Oh, I cut one of them. Hold up. My guy over there has no idea. Yay! Launched out over there. Okay, we need this. Just in case. Ooh, that was a good strat. Now that made this room incredibly manageable. And they gave me no choice, really. I couldn't even squeeze through. So yeah, that was the fight done. More ammo there. Let's see. More importantly, that looks like a cassette tape. Dr. B recording. That's all we need, guys. We'll combine that ahead of time with the tape recorder. So that's what we need. That gives us access then to his office. Ooh. I feel like anything right now could be roaming amongst us. Oh, the other one heard it. Sure hope not. I would be more than happy to have uh, just dealt with those two. Nope. We're jumping. We're jumping. We're out. We're out. We're out. Can it jump too? Oh boy. Let me see. No, I can't. Not quite. How about you, fellas? Oh yeah, they're ready to bust through. Watch this, guys. Watch this. There we go. Okay, as long as the other guy doesn't come through after, it should be okay. No, we're gonna punch this dude. There you go. Sit down, fella. Don't even try and get too close. No, 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 no. Yeah. Woo. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's make sure now they're all dead. All right, there we go. He's dead. Hmm. Someone over here ran. I can't remember where their body dropped. It might have been this one here, in fact. You having a hard time coming out the room, my dude? You know, entrance right there. Are you, are you coming through? Or, uh... Wow. Okay, you made it. Good job. All right. That's the last of them dealt with, then. At least for the zombies at the front. Let's, uh, make sure they're not going to get back in. Seems to be the case, fortunately. I really hope the game does give us a chance to uh, come back with the lockpick as well. There's a lot of different things that we need to use that for. Let's go back through. The lobby seems quiet. It definitely seems quiet. Should we check back on Jill? Like, is she good? I hope so. I really do hope so. Let's All play I the wanted tip to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. Wow. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Oh my. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the mil. Wait, I wanna listen. Wait, what's going on? Wait, is that where it cuts? It says we can trash that now. I mean, we have access now back here. Um. Nathaniel Bard, nice to meet you. Dude, he's been assassinated, right? He's not with us no more. Bard. Oh my gosh. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been he shot. Back. There's notes on the table there. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Oh, yeah, we 
see the computer. Did you hear that thud right there, guys? Well, look harder! Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on the September 10th at the Central Hall, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 6pm, 1998, the Orient Restaurant, the Central Hall, second floor. We will be honoured if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let the irons know. Well, that door's got a big red light, so it's not gonna open, is it? <sighs> Nope, we have a computer just here. Can we use it? Email. Reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for the ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the good to Greg, you've got to get the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lead on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Which should sound pretty chesty after the party we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out, Nate. What does that tell us though, dude? Can we get through? This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. Mm -hmm. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. Okay. Ooh. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. Why? They don't want the world to know what they've done. Oh. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. Of course. Of course. Look at him listening. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... Oh, they interrupted him. Oof. So the underground laboratory, right? I got you the one along. And she trusted me anyway. Mm -hmm. Access granted? You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding- it was that simple? Bro. Is it here? Access granted by punching a- That was the password! Now if you know, it's always the purple serum right there guys. The vaccine sample. It's what we need. So we get this back to Jill, and that's it. All but right, Jill. Hang tight. This ain't gonna be so simple. I got a suspicion. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Okay. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I <laughs> get there in one piece. Respect. Yep. That's for sure! Okay, we got a problem, guys. Oh, gosh, he punched that thing! Are you kidding me right now? Am I better to just keep running from this? You know, I might just keep running, guys. I feel like that's the best solution here. Here we go. I'm not looking back, guys. We'll deal with everything else once we need to. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's gonna be- Oh, there's some here, definitely, guys. Something here, hold up. I'm gonna get a flash ring, maybe. We don't gotta use it, we don't gotta use it. Any, any. You're gonna be okay, Jim. Wow, we got away with that. Get it done. Get it done. I wonder how long it takes to kick in. Look at that needle, that goes deep in. Oof. Good as new, right? Not quite. Come on. This better work. Maybe it did. How much time passed? <laughs> Dang, dude. Tyrell. What the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. Uh -oh. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. 
You think Uncle Sam gives a sh? Here they come. Wait, what? Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Is it like waves? Oh my gosh, we got to deal with waves, guys. Defend Jill. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. You know what, guys? We're doing this in the next episode. Yeah, man, you can hear them hitting the windows out there. The next episode is gonna be insane once we kick this off. And I kind of like it when we do that, you know, getting straight into the action. We're all here for now, though. The vaccine has been given to Jill, but all these guys out here, dude, we gotta defend her for as long as we can and hope that the vaccine kicks in with enough time. We have the news report as well coming through the emergency alert system. There's a lot going on, guys, and a lot for us to take care of in the next episode. But for this one here, I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos? Just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Of course I hope you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.